Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra. Today, we're gonna do some B1UP code for auto magically closing back orders. But first, I wanted to say, visit www.battleshipcobra.com. Check out my Crystal Reports for SAP Business One course and my SQL for SAP Business One course. I make new videos weekly on Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So like, subscribe, and click the notification bell if you want to join the notification squad to get an email anytime I make a new video. Stay psyched! This is a shirt from a guy named Jamie O'Brien. He has a really cool YouTube channel. It has really uh, inspired me to stay psyched about what I'm doing. It's helped me to keep a positive mental attitude, especially during this time. And it just, you know, make the most of every day. It's really worth checking out. He's a surfer, but the vibe of uh, his video and his channel, videos and his uh, channel are just so cool. I, I really, really like it. And I, now I'm calling Red Bull Sight Juice and I'm clicking the site counter. So today I'm gonna share with you some code to close sales orders from B1UP. You do need B1UP to do this. It's a B1UP macro but I'm gonna show you how you can do it using the user interface, and then I'll show you how to do it on a schedule. Uh, the primary point of this code is to automatically clean up old sales orders, and say they're just back orders and you never maintain back orders. Some industries don't maintain back orders or the back orders are over X amount of time. You can just set this code, and you can either have it when you do a delivery, will auto go back and it will close the sales orders, or again, on a schedule, you can use the server component and it will search for back orders and then it will check out uh, what is what has been back ordered beyond a day, you know, day earlier or whatever, and then it will close them. You can use your own code. I'll show you right now. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so let's take a look at a user interface example. On the sales order here, I've added the close back order button. This is a user interface side because you would run this particular one from within the user interface in SAP. So I have two, I have one that's a user interface one and you'll see why. And then I have one that's made for automatic where you run it on a schedule. So let's drill down into this function a little bit. <clears throat> so we run a query. So first we're running just a plain, we're, we're gonna define a plain old query here with, uh, in this case it's SQL. Select distinct, so I said distinct, top two, I did the top two just because I didn't want to have every time that I ran it for testing it use up all of the different orders. So I had select top two just to do two, and doc entry from RDR1, join ORDR, because I need both the header and the rows. I say where the document status, it goes open, where there are any rows that are less than full open quantity. So that's just a quick way to determine if it's a uh, particular, uh, if it's a back order. You could do some sort of fulfillment percentage or whatever you wanna do. So you could say fulfillment like 90% or whatever. You can expand this query to be whatever you want. And I'm saying whenever the doc due date or delivery date is less than today's date. So you could change that to whatever you want the end result just has to be a distinct list of doc entries. It can be 100, it can be two, it can be whatever. Okay, so we, we do the object for the orders, a document object for the orders. We do a record set. We initialize that record set. We will run the query into the record set. Then we're gonna do a while loop. So while there is uh, records in the record set, we're gonna pull up the doc entry we are going to update a special field that I added, back order close date. So this will indicate the day that this function closed this order, just for tracking. You can update other things in there if you want to. Then I'm gonna update the document once the back order date's there. Then I'm gonna close the order. Then I'm gonna get the last error message. If the result equals uh, failed, then it's gonna output the message from SAP, what was wrong with closing the document. 
or else it is going to, in the application status bar, say closing order, then the document number. Then it's gonna keep doing that for all of the distinct doc entries, then it's gonna release all the resources here. So this, this part makes it user interface side. So if you wanna run it in the background, you don't wanna to try to call the application because you won't be in the application when you run it on the server. So in this case, I'll show you how this goes and then we'll take a look at the results here. So we're in this particular one. You could trigger this close back orders again automatically on a delivery or from an invoice or from wherever you want, but the function will do what it does. So I'm gonna just click this, should do the top two. Close. 200156. You can see it's closed now and the back order date was set to today. So it did what it needed to do, boom. And it did it like all in the background where you could see it. You didn't have to do a user interface thing where you pop open the sales order and then do it. You could have done a hundred of them. Um, you can get the total. You could say working on five out of a hundred or whatever. And you can run through all those right in the background using pure DIAPI calls. It's beautiful. The second thing I wanted to show you here was the way of doing it on the server. So I'm gonna go here, universal functions, configuration. I'm going to find all of the dynamic code. And the other one is the auto. So you can see that's basically the exact same uh, query setup. It's gonna do the top two. It's gonna run, get the doc entry. It's gonna update the back order field. It's gonna close. It's gonna update and then it's gonna close. Um, you don't need this to have the, uh, the, the application side stuff with, like I'm telling you. So we have that there. Then we're going to go administration, add-ons, B1 usability package, module configuration, universal functions, schedules. I already set this up as a dynamic code, close back orders auto. Uses universal function 149 and you can put it on any schedule you want. I'm just saying daily and you could do it that way. I'm gonna run, you could run it on whenever you want, a couple times a day, every five minutes. You have to have the server component installed. It's very, very easy to install. And you'll see here, close back orders auto. Just gonna turn that on. Refresh. And then I'm gonna run it and it's gonna close a couple of back orders. So let's take the top two. So it's gonna close another top two. Tools, queries, uh, not query, never really use that. Tools, queries, query manager, execute, pencil, boom. So it should look at those two and close them. So let's just open one here. Okay, so let's run the function. We're gonna go here, and I'm just gonna manually run this so you can test this with the schedule tester. It's really nice. You don't have to wait or fake set it to a couple minutes from now. Um, I'm gonna go run. So this would be done in the background on the server. You wouldn't need to do anything. This is just gonna do what it's gonna do. And we'll give it a second here. Okay, so you can see it says done. Let's go back here, refresh. It's closed, accounting, and it's entered the back order date there. So again, it's done what it needs to do. It's closed all the back orders. That's two ways to do it, user interface and through the server. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy my videos. Consider going to www.battleshipcobra.com. Check out my crystal reports for SAP Business One or my SQL for SAP Business One. My courses are on Udemy. There's online self-paced courses. You just watch videos of me. There's a ton of the lectures. You can do uh, exercises in there and it'll bring you from zero, not knowing anything, to being awesome with either one of those things. Uh, you can like, subscribe, share. And if you wanna join the notification squad, click that bell next to the subscribe and that'll send you an email anytime that I make a new video. I make videos usually weekly Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So check those out. I really appreciate your support. Comment below if you have any comments or requests for topics. I'm always looking for new ones, but I have tons ready to go. Thank you guys so much. Bye for now.